episode of Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, we're gonna be finishing off the main quest from last episode. We had to cut it off. You know, we had to cut it like at a inopportune part because of my recording time. So, yeah, so let's just get right. Right into it. This is a voice one. The primer note shut down now. I think the last time I was down here was during the Lumia Grand incident. A malfunction led to an overflow of detergent in the pipes. Suds rose from every fountain. As we frantically tried to fix it. I looked up and saw everyone in the lobby chasing bubbles the size of basketballs. Young and old alike. Hmm. Oh, I imagine all her activity. Impossible city. A recording from Stanley Chan. Stanley Chan. I don't know if the data point said who Stanley Chan was exactly but it sounds like he's like the architect or something there one no down better swim back up and find the access point for the second one Should be on the other side of the door. Ooh, snap. Oh, they said we could make smoke bombs out underwater. So I better get those ready. Just in case. I'm gonna get rid of that question mark. That I, or waypoint on the question mark. No, dang it. Can I like there we go. Okay. Uh this way, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, I got a resource pack. Or upgraded my resource pouch, so I should be able to get more of those plants. This is an audio one. Chip. Just shut down the secondary node. <coughs> no more water for the fountains. No more shows. No one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains have been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first bloom arced up in the dome, the music swelling, my heart soared right along with it. The city gave me a second chance once. Now it had one, two, 
The domes, the water. He was responsible for all of it. Yeah, so he was the architect. Or one of them, at least. Okay, I've taken care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. should be at the south end of the dome. Wasn't it where we started? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Music is creepy. Who saw me? Where? There's no light in that tower. Just like at the console I found earlier. Um, that might be the maintenance station. What? Where? Get in. It looks like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. Some green shine. Maybe I can trade this green shine. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Is that another audio one? Yep. System shutdown is almost done. Only thing left is to power everything down at the control center. So, I guess this is it. One final walk down the strip, and then it slides out forever. At least I won't be around to see it destroyed. The others will be well on its way to Sirius yeah. by the time the swarm gets here. Yeah. Still. My last memory of this place will be empty. A city that's already dead. Stanley Chen was one of them. The Zenith. Oh, he 
is on the watch for this place. He he doesn't sound like the others. Wow. He's on the far zenith. Did it? <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. Yeah, we can really. I, past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Poseidon. Can I actually explore this place now. <laughs> I guess I should get rid of all of the water. Oh. Never mind. Imagine if we went to Vegas and it was like this. It sort of is in some areas. Kind of like this, but not really. Like these holograms. Let's 
this you? Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's That's in our way. not a new problem. Electricity, but this has electricity. All right. Uh, frogs. Gentlemen, get Big a move on. Thing is. And face or jaws or whatever you want to call them. It's almost like a bird or a dragon. Alright, what do we gotta do? Talk to Morland and his crew. You guys all right? More than all right. This... You... We did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. No, no, shard counter. 
Nothing wrong with a little revving. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Jeez, look at this place. all that sounds those sounds coming from I don't see any machines that's just like over the speakers like the sidings doing sound like Poseidon should be somewhere beyond the store time to bring it home sound like dolphins something similar should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. What is this one? I can't do it. I can't Stand give up on this place. Again. I'm leaving everything on standby. The system's equipped for runs for decades, if not hundreds of years. It's a long shot. But maybe someday, against all odds, someone will find this place again. Marvel at its lights and wonders. Discover a fortune and boundless opportunity. Make it their own dream. After all, if the city can give me a second chance, if water can flow in the wasteland, anything's possible. He was right. Wow. That's a text log one. Just imagine being in a... seeing this place when you're like a ancient civilization or you're a tribal person barely see anything like you've never seen anything like this and then come to see this huge place oh wow I'm here to bring you home Poseidon to Gaia Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring the science of origin's function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. I can't blame all these tribal people. Like the system the Taru and their like land gods. Sudden trigger to restarted the city's power system. Nor tribe has the All Mother, which is Gaia. Worm and crew must have headed back up top. Hey, can't the embers they could carry. Blame them, thinking they're gods. I thought we were gonna have to go down here. There's not even anything down there though. It was like that. What is it called? The tired snapper or something? Oh. I thought it was guarding that. Like the hole. Not off 
fish and whatnot anymore. See this one? Yeah, this is an audio. It started right here, more than 30 years ago. Back when this casino was still called the Temple. One big day turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt its cruelest hand ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final Ooh, time. Later. And the well, waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. It has to work. Well, yeah. nice not to have to climb back if a dream up. has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. An elevator. Yeah, yeah we, we must heard have built that this one. The place flooded. Nice to work. I nice think. not to have to climb back up. Legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Yeah. Plus some food and a nice place to stay. I imagine. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> A new dream, huh? I am. Um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. Uh. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. Imagine. Maybe clue's gonna stay. Maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to find that Osram camp first. See if Talana made it. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. I imagine... Everyone... Would... Want to 
come see this place now. I don't even know what they would think. Like, Jeez. All right. Back to what's this? Survey drone. Is that where she was talking about? Or our friend? Or no, is that no? I think that's what she was talking about. Where the huntress Karja. Huntress lady. It's gonna be, let's go do that. Or, I don't know. Let's go back to Gaia first and then afterwards if we have enough time. We'll, uh, go do that. Can you travel to that right, right there? Yep. A few days ago, I came across a massive bloom of flowers east of the grove. Old Dorica was out there, too. I offered to escort her back to Scalding Spear, but she refused. She's an accomplished soldier, to be sure. But her spear isn't as sharp as it used to be, if you get my meaning. If I'm out there, I'll keep an eye out for her. Keep your eyes open out there. Back to the base, talk to Gaia. Like some of the holograms are working now. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful war map. Hmm. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, but I must ask. The woman Varlin Aaron brought in, she's related to you. It's hard to explain. Um, she's more of a copy. Hmm. Good. If she's anything like you, we've just gained reinforcements. Maybe. Yeah, I don't think uh, she's anything like Aloy. I need to go. On your way then. Poseidon. Yep. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have 
have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Alright. Figured there'd be a lot more than that. Like a cutscene or something. But I guess not. Let's go see what uh for the team, Aaron. Come on. Huh? Let's go see what Beta has to. Oh, there it is. What Beta has to say. I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Let's see what's in it. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. this one down here this that did it uh Aloy a bunch of lights just turned on up here was that you yeah, I guess it was. What? What light? Like what? I don't notice anything. Catalo, we saw him already. Okay, nothing in here. Was this here? Like these lights? What is that? Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms. Which holograms? Oh, these? Oh, okay. Maybe these two? I don't know. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. This one? There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia, what was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there to check under the leaves. See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. Hmm. Uh, maybe further into the future, but... <laughs> what is this? According to this console, 
There are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is my room. I guess that was it. Oh. Let's go see what Beta wants. Where's Varl? Is he in there? His little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. That's the same one. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Yeah. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. In the first game. But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades proving lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one Where day, she looks so old a data channel sickly. opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever... Talk about her life on Earth, how she joined the Zeniths, something like that. She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings. 
changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So... Not anything useful besides that she's nicer than the others? So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. What they... Okay. Hmm. Let's leave it at that then. They met in secret, so she couldn't talk about you in front What's of the wrong? others. I'm trying, Laurel. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds. Risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay, I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Hmm. A little harsh there, Eloy. Oh. Oh well. Alright. Well. It's about that time we should end this. Yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, all that. Have a good day, everybody.